Hi all. I have another question for you this week. I have a young lady, she wants a new job and she has all the skills for the new job she's been looking at on these different job boards. And she says that they're all asking for at least one year of experience. And I know in her current job, she does a lot of traveling and these other jobs she's looking at, they don't require as much traveling, but they are looking for one year of experience. And she says that everything that's in the job posting she does right now on her current job. However, she has not been at her current job for a year. Now, what I would like to know for different people who are considering leaving their jobs is I would like to know what is your reason for leaving your current job or wanting to leave your current job. If you're leaving a current job, you should have a good reason. It shouldn't be, I can't stand my boss or I'm tired of these people. It should sound as though you want to grow because for all the new employer knows, you get tired of them and quit in three months. And then they have to pay for posting job ads and go through the process of interviewing all over again. So don't count yourself out of the runnings by giving a uh, bad excuse or a bad reason for leaving their current job. You want it to sound as though you are looking for an opportunity for growth as much as possible. All right. And also what she can do, this young lady, what she can do is stay until she gets the experience in the field. So you can stay for another six months, four months, however long until that one year experience is achieved. Or you can go ahead and apply for the job and what you do is if you don't have experience, if a job is asking for a certain criteria for for the um, function of the job and responsibilities of the job, you'll want to see if they're asking for preferred versus required. Now, if the one year experience is preferred over required, definitely apply for the job. And in my experience as a recruiter, I I would choose the required over the preferred, okay? And so this is just this is a way of getting the more qualified people on your team. So we get a lot of applications in, a lot of resumes, so choosing the people who are more closely fit with the actual job duties is an easier way to narrow down the selection. So don't waste your time applying for a job that you have no experience in. Um, go ahead and put focus your efforts into jobs where you have most of the requirements of the job. And then you can always, if you don't have a certain requirement, you can show that you are knowledgeable in some way on that particular requirement. It is different for every industry. Some industries require specializations and all these, all these type things. So just um, use discretion when you apply for these jobs. Make sure that you have all the required and then the preferred is not as much, look not looked at as much as the required, but it's still helpful, all right? And also make sure you research the company you're applying to because you don't want to leave your job and then end up with a company that you absolutely hate. You don't want to do that. So I advise doing a pros and cons list of going to another company and make a list of why you're leaving your current job. All right. And it's different for everybody. Some people, it's money motivated. Some people do have terrible bosses. Some people just need something different because they want to grow and the current position is not allowing them to grow. It's different for everybody. So that's, this is why it's important to do your pros and cons lists to um, keep yourself out of a situation where you absolutely hate your new job, okay? 
And also educate yourself on the new position as much as possible before and during the interview. You don't want to leave your job, like I said, and regret leaving a job that you've had for several months up to a year, because I'm sure it took some work to get there. So you want to be careful about leaving a job for another job. And you want to build your time with employers as well, because as you work your way up the ladder, what I've seen is that jobs will ask for more experience as you work your way up into roles with more responsibility. And it can get hard to get a job if you're constantly switching roles. You may find yourself, depending on the industry, having to start over from the bottom a lot and working your way back up because you're missing out on your time in service on these other jobs. Okay, and so that's just something for you to think about if you're thinking of switching a job and um, you're not sure about all the qualifications, okay? All right, so if you have any questions, I'll answer them here. Make today a productive day. See you on the next video.